Hello guys, welcome back to episode 3 of the Idle Game Tutorial Series. Today we are going to be um, doing some more stuff with the upgrades, alright? Um, so, we're basically, we don't need to do anything on here for now. We're going to jump back to our code. And something I forgot to mention is that we forgot to change this... Uh, we forgot to change this click value right here. So we're going to add a new text for episode 1 called click value text. Click value text. Basically this will update this right here depending on how much you get per click. So we'll add it to the list of texts. Do add the text attributes. Um, so this is called click. Uh, we'll make a new line. And it's plus. There's no space, so we can leave that like as it as it is. Plus um, coins click value plus uh, coin coins. Um, that's pretty much it. So now this will update whenever you buy that, or updates every frame. So next, what we're gonna do? We're gonna make more upgrades. Um, so let's start a new episode three. You don't have to put these. These are just comments to like separate and stuff. So we're going to make another coin upgrade. Because I feel like these ones are really boring. <laughs> like they don't really do much. So what we're going to do is copy from the last click upgrade. We'll rename them to click upgrade 2. Click upgrade 2. And um, this time we're going to add another double. This one's going to be called power. So now we got three variables. Um, we need to go to our buttons, and in order to actually make it do something, we have to make a new function or a new method. So we're going to copy and paste this. So now we have a second click upgrade button. Um, rename all these variables to whatever you set it to. Put twos in all of mines. And we're pretty much good to go. That's pretty much it except for the coins click value. Now I'm going to make this cost mode a little higher just so it gets more expensive faster. And um, for the coins click value, I want this one to give 5 every time you buy. So this time we're actually going to do plus 5. That's pretty simple, right? We just changed the plus plus to plus equals 5. So instead of giving 1, uh, it gets 5. So this is exactly the same as this. These are exactly the same thing. This is just shorter. So, um, okay. So we got this now. Mm, let's see. Now we actually need new text. Don't forget about that. So we're going to copy and paste the click upgrade 1 text. Name it click upgrade text 2. And we're going to copy this one again. Because it's easy. We're going to name it click upgrade 2. We're going to rename these to 2. Alright, so now this is where it gets a little different. So, uh, this is two as well. Right here. We're going to break this off right here where the one is. Alright? So, we're going to add a plus. Um, This is actually, never mind, this is actually plus five. Right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Ignore what I said. This is plus five. Alright, that's pretty much it for that. Um, If you guys wanted to, uh. We actually, do we need to click power? Now that I think about it. No, we don't need this. Now that I think about it. We don't need it. <laughs> Once we add a prestige system, I'm going to add it, which will be in the future. So now this one will do five. So let's test it. We're going to go to our game manager. We're going to drag the click value text, which is inside the click button. Drag that. And we need to make a new click upgrade. We're going to copy and paste that. Change it to 2. Alright. We're going to space this out. So now we got our second upgrade. Let's change that to 2. Um, and then we'll drag the second text to here. And since we made a new method, we need to go to our button. And we need to change it to buy click upgrade 2. And should you guys should be getting a little familiar with this now. If I'm sounding kind of vague, then just go to the first episode and I should be explaining things better. Alright, so we're running it and now our, our text changed. So let's try it. 
So the cost is actually zero coins for now. Why is that? <laughs> it's still okay. It's still taken away. So the cost is still the same. This is actually zero. So. <laughs> All right, so back to our code. Um, we need to make the cost set as default to let's say a hundred. And I made I accidentally made both of these cost two. Don't do that. I don't know why I did that, but that's not what it's supposed to look like. So now it should work. <laughs> All right. Yep, I forgot to change this again. <laughs> Silly me. Basically what happened is that it set cost 1, or upgrade cost 1, to 10, and then it changed to 100, that's why it displays 100, if you saw that. So now it should display 110. Yes, it does. So let's buy some stuff. Save up. So now we're making 3 coins per click. We're going to buy that, and now we're making 8. Woohoo! So that's the basics of adding more upgrades. The production is exactly the same thing, except we might need to add a power eventually. So what we're going to do is, uh, I'm debating if I should start, uh, so let's see, we'll do another, we'll do another one of these. So this time we're going to add the power just so I can show you an example. So we're going to copy and paste these, change to two, change to two, copy, paste this, rename it to power. Or whatever you want. That's what I'm doing. Um, okay, so the cost needs a default. We're going to make this 250. Just why not? So um, since we're just going to start down the list, I'm going to take this upgrade text and I'm going to paste it again. Rename everything to what it should be. Oh, and also since we have a power, we're going to make this produce 5 per second. So we're going to set this to 5. And coins per second will be producing um, to, from two different upgrades. So we're going to add this to the power. So it's really easy. Instead of doing level times five, we're just going to make a whole separate power variable and do it from there. And then... So you can simply do five like this. But since I made a power variable, I want to show you that you can do plus the power variable plus that. It'll do the exact same thing, except whenever this variable changes, the text changes. We're gonna set that to two. All right, so this text doesn't exist because we haven't created it yet. So let's create that real quick. Production upgrade two. There you go, so now that's not red. So we're gonna make another by function, which is basically just, um, it's the same thing as before. We're not changing anything really. Except we're changing the names. So that's done and over with. We basically just changed all the variable names from ones to twos. Just so we don't actually upgrade or take away from another upgrade. We will always want to make sure all these variables are not the same as these ones. Unless they're meant to be changing each other. Which uh, I've done before. But you guys shouldn't really need to worry about that now. And then it would work successfully because if you change, if you accidentally subtract or multiply this cost instead of this one, this one will just randomly grow whenever you buy this one, which would not make any sense. All right, so we're done with that. We can make our second production upgrade. So, like usual, we're gonna change the the um, the method to upgrade two. And I'm going fast. So you guys can always just go back. I'm sure you guys have watched YouTube before. <laughs> Um, so, okay, we have our next upgrade. We're going to go to Game Manager and add our production upgrade text. There you go. I'm going to play. Make sure you save. I didn't save because I forgot. All right, so we're going to give this a shot. Oh, also, something I forgot to tell you is that if this, since this is already set to 5, it's automatically going to be producing. So we want to make sure, since power is a constant variable, we actually need to we actually need to time this by the level. So there you go. So since level will be zero, it will be producing zero. If it was one, it'll be producing five. If two, then ten, and so on. 
But the reason why we want to create power variables is because if we have a multiplier, like for a, for example, like a rebirth or a prestige system that multiplies by two, we can easily just go into here and just do prestige value, which might be two. It just makes everything a lot easier. And why why not just make this say five? Well, we don't know what this belongs to, maybe. And it's always good to make variables. Sometimes it's unnecessary. Alright, so we should be good to go now. It should be automatically creating five per second. So, uh, the cost is zero. Why is it zero? Because we accidentally set the first one to 250 again. <laughs> I did that um, just because I'm recording a YouTube and I try to go as fast as, uh, fast as possible. So I missed some stuff, but it's alright. We all make mistakes. So now this is stage 25 and 250. Yep. All right, let's get to that. So let's buy some click upgrades. Woo! All right, there you go. We got five per second. There you go. And we can buy some of these. We can buy one of those. Buy one of those. We can have a jolly time. We got lots to work. It's just saying. We got lots more to do because this is... Not fun. This is very boring. This, take, this could take me at least like a minute to make. Nah, not a minute. That's impossible. But it would take me a few minutes. Alright, so we have our upgrades done. So this is another really short episode. Um, basically, next one, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do exponents. Which should be really easy. You basically just got to look at what I do. And just replace variables and stuff. But you'll see that in the next episode. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in episode four. Peace. Yeah. Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hottest Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?